Welcome to the Mississippi Express Pass System User Tutorial Videos. This video will guide you through the steps for creating an account to order permits using Express Pass at permits.mdot.ms.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the Express Pass User Tutorial Videos link. To create a new account, click the Create a Company Profile link on the login page. The Setup Company Profile screen will be displayed. The screen will ask if you have a valid USDOT number. Choose the option that best describes your situation and follow the on-screen prompts. Choosing I have a DOT number will allow users to create an account by pulling their company information from Safer. All other options will require users to enter in all company information. You may contact the MDOT Permit Office at 888 737-0061 with any questions about creating an account. For this tutorial, I have a DOT number will be selected from the drop-down list. Express Pass will display a field asking you to enter a valid USDOT number. Once the USDOT number has been entered, click the Validate Numbers button to check against USDOT data. If the numbers do not validate, double-check the numbers for accuracy. If the system notifies you that the account already exists, call the MDOT Permit Office for further instructions. If the numbers validate, a confirmation message will be displayed. Click the OK button to close the confirmation message. Verify the company name and address listed is correct. Click the Create Account button to proceed. On the Create New Profile Company Information screen, Express Pass will automatically populate the information associated to the USDOT number entered. Any field with an asterisk will need to be completed before clicking Submit. Verify the email address entered and update it if necessary. Select the Receive Electronic and Billing Statements and Communications checkbox if you would like to receive your statements electronically. Once selecting the checkbox, a confirmation message will be displayed letting you know that email verification will be required. Click the OK button to verify the message. Make sure to select the primary delivery method from the drop-down list to specify the way you would like issued permits delivered. The options available are fax, web, or email. This can be changed on a permit-by-permit -permit basis as needed. Please note that you can also print any active permit directly from the dashboard. Enter your first and last name, a username, and a password. Please make note of the password requirements, which can be viewed by clicking the Password Requirements link. The password must be at least 12 characters in length and must contain three of the four following options, lowercase and uppercase letters, at least one number, and or at least one special character. Once all required fields are complete, note the selected username and password and click the Submit button to continue. A message will be displayed stating the account has been created. Click on the OK button to return to the login screen. Please log in to complete your company profile. On the login screen, enter your username and password in the fields. Select the Remember Me on this computer checkbox for Express Pass to remember your username. Click the Submit button to log in to your company dashboard. Read and review both disclaimer messages and check the boxes to acknowledge the disclaimers. Click the I Understand and Agree button. Once on the company dashboard, click the Company Data link located in the Admin Links panel on the left side of the dashboard to finish setting up your account. On the Express Pass Company Management Portal screen, certain company information can be edited such as the phone number and email address. Be sure to set up additional users, update phone numbers and email addresses, and add vehicles when logging in for the first time. This information can also be updated as needed at any time you are logged in to Express Pass. New users can be added or existing users can be edited in the Users section. All added users can order permits in Express Pass. The original user who set up the account will already be listed in the Users drop-down list. Click the Edit button to edit the user and add an email address, phone number, prompt question, and response. 
All users should enter an email address, prompt question, and response in order to retrieve a forgotten username or reset a forgotten password. This saves time, allowing users to bypass calling the permit office for a password reset. When editing an existing user or adding a new user, select the user type. The two levels are supervisor or user. The supervisor level can edit company information and other users. A user level can only update their own name, email address, phone number, and password. The user who created the account will be defaulted to a supervisor user. All company accounts must have at least one supervisor user. Unless the user will have a very specific known start and end date for accessing ExpressPass, leave these fields blank. Otherwise, set the start and end date for the account to be active for specific dates. Click the Update button to save the information. Once users have been edited or added, enter the company vehicles into ExpressPass for easier permit ordering. In ExpressPass, there are three ways to add vehicles. Vehicles can be added during the permit order process, or if adding vehicles at the same time, users can upload a vehicle spreadsheet using the vehicle import in the admin links on the company dashboard. There is a separate video titled Importing Vehicles which can be found on the ExpressPass User Tutorial Videos link located on the login page. Vehicles can also be added individually in company data. To add a vehicle in company data, click the New button. The vehicle information screen will be displayed. Enter the unit number, make, year, VIN, plate, and the state in which the vehicle is registered. Selecting a terminal is optional. Once the information has been entered, click the Insert button to save. Clicking the Insert button will add the vehicle to the Vehicle drop-down list where you can edit this or existing vehicles, or click the New button to add another vehicle. Terminals are optional and can be set up at this time. Terminals are different physical locations for the same USDOT number and account. Click the New button to add a new terminal. Enter the terminal information in the required fields and click the Insert button to save. Click the Edit button to edit entered terminals. Contacts, users, and vehicles can be assigned to a terminal. Once all company data has been entered and updated, click the Home button to return to the company dashboard and begin ordering permits. Welcome to Express Pass. This concludes the ExpressPass user tutorial video on how to create a new company account. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.